is rejection in asking someone to buy your products or services or even employ you if you are now looking for a job. There is no rejection in you know, building a website, right? Hey, this is Ron again with another video. I just wanted to share with you something again about this idea of keep it simple, keep it it simple uh, and, and not trying to be smart. And all of the things that I wanted to do was, you know, to build my kind of online presence. And I tried to go into courses and learn about social media, learn about click funnels, learn about sales, learn about everything. And what I've done, actually, I spent more time into doing that than into selling my services and delivering my services. And, you know, one of my mentors, Paul Martinelli, said, said that the reason why we do that and we tend to do that, if you find yourself doing that, is because there is no rejection in, you know, building a website, right? So if I pick up the phone call, the, the, the phone and I call someone, I might get rejected, right? I might, I might get a no. I mean, most of the times I get a no, right? Um, and if I send an email asking someone to maybe, um, you know, just share with them a course or a program that I have or maybe uh, offer them a, a, a you know, free consultation or free coaching session just for them to kind of see how I can help them, if I do that, chances are that they would say no. And so there is rejection in asking someone to buy your products or services or even employ you if you are now looking for a job there might be a rejection there. I mean, chances are that you'd be rejected more times than people will say yes to you. So what Paul says is that, you know, when we are afraid of these, you know, rejections and we want to avoid them, we spend more time into trying to, you know, get our website ready. And um, we, we, we actually will miss the opportunity. So keep it simple. Keep your activity, keep the, my, the main thing the main thing, right? So if your activity is like myself, for example, as a train, coach, speak, you know, deliver courses, do that for, you know, 80% of your time. And then you can spend 20% of your time to do, you know, some other activities. If I would be you know, responsible of the sales part of my business, you know, 90% of my time would be sales. 20% I would, you know, maybe learn more about the products or services that I sell or sales technique, but I would do the activity like 80-20. Keep this principle in mind. 80% of your time do what you should be doing and 20% of your time learn more about the things that you should be doing. So keep it simple. Don't overcomplicate things. Don't try to be smart. Don't try to reinvent the wheel. Thank you for tuning in. See you. Take care. Bye-bye.